Did a sheriff's office create evidence to get itself off the hook for letting an accused killer out of jail? That question is exactly what Newport News Sheriff Gabe Morgan wants an answer to. He's conducting a special investigation tonight. New at 6, Senator Your Side's Andy Fox looks into this latest development. Tom and Nicole, on October 21st, Newport News Sheriff Gabe Morgan told us something that may not be true. Tonight, we're holding the Newport News Sheriff's Office and Sheriff Morgan accountable for inconsistent statements. Accused killer Eric Nixon back in October. But I was going to him. They were like, no, nah, you're going home. And did you tell them, no, I'm not supposed to go home? I'm supposed to go to the Hampton Jail? Only on 10, Eric Nixon told us he was released from the Newport News City Jail on an unrelated misdemeanor October 9th. He was telling the jailers, don't let him go. He's wanted in Hampton on felonies, including murder. But wasn't it a red flag when he was telling you that? Absolutely. Absolutely. 10 on your side confronted Newport News Sheriff Gabe Morgan. Why his jail released Nixon? So we went one step further. We reached out to the Hampton Sheriff's Office, their records division, and um, inquired whether or not there was any hold or anything in their system. Morgan produced this screenshot from the jail management system. Sherry Woodruff's name is on it, and it was cleared by Deputy Robert Allen. At 4.16 p.m. October 9th, it reads, no charges in Hampton, no pending per Hampton Records Department. Deputy Robert Allen from our classification se se uh, section called over. Sheriff Morgan says after that call, then Nixon was released. But now Sheriff Morgan is investigating whether that call was ever made. Hampton Jail Administrator Major Stephen Rich told us in October they never got a call. They did not call us. They can put it in their system, but they did not call us. Hampton City phone records support that. We asked Major Rich's office for records department calls on October 9th. Not one call came from the Newport News City Jail. We asked Newport News for city phone records supporting the 416 call. There isn't one. Only this one call to an 804 area code. What's up with that? The Sheriff's Office told us preliminary findings indicate that not all things are lining up. Sheriff Morgan still stands by the word of his deputy who asserts a call was made. If we have an integrity issue, we will deal with it. In October, we asked Major Rich. Are you saying they're lying? That they didn't talk to somebody? I can't state what they're saying. Now, the Newport News Sheriff's Office continues to think the real story is why Nixon was in their jail on 10 Hampton felonies to begin with. But it would appear tonight the story has changed. The story now is, how did Newport News hocus pocus a call? They may never have been made. We'll keep you updated on this story. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.